Quantum computers may pose a significant threat to cryptocurrency and the digital world as a whole. There is no such a thing as unbreakable encryption methods. But there's definitely a world where this is commercialized and everybody has the power of quantum at their fingertips. Let's explore how real the risk is, how major players are preparing, and what we can expect in the near future. Experts warn that quantum computers might soon outsmart today's crypto protections. These machines work differently from regular computers and are much faster at solving certain problems. That's why blockchain networks are scrambling to prepare before it's too late. This video was created by Stumsup, the verification platform. We make the digital world people-friendly yet secure. So what makes quantum computers so dangerous? The answer lies in the qubit quantum bits that defy binary logic. You probably heard about yes. new quantum computers that are I, I have, but I totally don't understand it. So what are the values that a bit can have? Zero or one? A quantum computer replaces the binary logic with the laws of quantum physics. Rather than just being on or off, a qubit can be held in something called a superposition, where it can be both on and off at the same time. This makes them uniquely suited to cracking the complex math behind cryptographic security. Today's cryptographic systems are designed to withstand billions of years of brute force attacks from regular computers. But with quantum algorithms, those defenses could fall in mere minutes. While this technology could be years away, we've seen some alarming projections. Advanced quantum computers could break current encryption in as little as 60 minutes. Organizations might just have six months to deploy quantum safe solutions before falling behind. And the most striking $4.2 trillion worth of crypto assets could be at risk. While quantum computing promises revolutionary advances, it also brings a host of potential threats that could extend far far beyond the crypto world, from cybersecurity to national defense. The power of quantum computers could disrupt many aspects of our daily lives. One major concern is cryptography. What is important to understand in the first place is that there is no such a thing as unbreakable encryption method, and all cryptographic algorithms can be broken if there are like two criteria are met. First, having enough computing power, and second is having enough time. Just as quantum computers could potentially break the encryption, securing digital currencies, they pose a significant risk, from private emails to banking transactions. You're going to have customers' accounts being breached, which means things like identity theft and fraudulent transactions. Money being stolen. Money being stolen. All the big boys are in this race to create a workable, operationally efficient quantum computer because the nation or company that does this will rule the world economy. In the realm of national security, quantum computers could break through the defenses of military communications, exposing classified intelligence and leaving countries vulnerable to cyber attacks. We're looking at a race, a race between China, between IBM, Google, Microsoft, Honeywell. Another key concern lies in critical infrastructure systems. These systems that control power grids, water supply networks, and even transportation are increasingly connected to the internet. Quantum computers could potentially hack into these systems, shutting them down or manipulating operations. Even artificial intelligence could be at risk. AI algorithms are often built on complex mathematical models that rely on cryptography. Quantum advancements could threaten the integrity of AI systems, making them vulnerable to tampering or manipulation. As we approach the quantum era, it's clear that its potential for disruption stretches far beyond blockchain. The race is not just about staying ahead of quantum hackers, it's about ensuring the safety of the entire digital ecosystem. For example, encryption algorithms like um like SHA-256 or elliptic curve cryptography, which are used by Bitcoin for proof of work and also for transaction signing, they could be broken by quantum computing. And this means that um, someone with access to quantum computing could sort of a reverse engineer private keys from public keys, for example, effectively getting access to well, crypto wallets. While quantum computers are a groundbreaking technological achievement, their accessibility remains highly restricted. Unlike traditional computers, quantum machines are housed in highly controlled environments, often requiring near absolute zero temperatures to function. For comparison, 
the cosmic microwave background in space is way warmer. That's orders of magnitude warmer. So it is the coldest thing in the known universe. These machines are currently owned and operated by a handful of major corporations and research institutions like Google, IBM and Microsoft. For fraudsters, obtaining access to quantum computing power is far from straightforward. These machines cost millions of dollars to develop, maintain, and operate. Our company spends close to $7 billion a year in R&D. Even for legitimate researchers, access is usually granted through cloud-based services under strict regulation and oversight. The shift from controlled environments to broader availability could drastically alter the landscape of blockchain security threats. Blindsided by a breakthrough that could transform civilization. While the tools to break blockchain security may not be in the hands of malicious actors, the industry cannot afford to be complacent. I'm not sure the world is prepared for this change. Definitely not. The looming quantum threat is not just a theoretical concern. It is already driving significant changes across the digital and financial landscape. Blockchain networks, once thought to be impenetrable, are now accelerating efforts to protect their infrastructure. In a survey by Deloitte, more than 70% of companies working in blockchain technology acknowledged quantum computing as a critical risk to their security systems. Today, there is a big effort from NIST to start standardizing post-quantum crypto. The cost of transitioning to quantum-resistant algorithms for the blockchain industry is projected to exceed $100 million over the next five years as networks race to upgrade their cryptographic protocols. Major platforms like Bitcoin and Ethereum have started exploring solutions such as post-quantum cryptography to safeguard transactions. Developers are testing and deploying these defenses, knowing that even a single breach could jeopardize the trust and integrity of the entire system. But not all blockchains are keeping pace. Smaller networks with limited resources are struggling to adopt the necessary safeguards, leaving them vulnerable to potential attacks. This divide could create a two-tiered blockchain ecosystem, one prepared for the quantum future and one left exposed to potential catastrophe. The industry understands the urgency. Initiatives to integrate quantum-resistant measures are being prioritized, with companies pouring billions into research and development to stay ahead of the curve. So while we're not there yet, you know, it, it is it would be wrong to assume we wouldn't get there. You know, the first computers that were built were, you know, in all these big rooms and now we have them in our laptops and our iPads. And now quantum computers again are in all these stores, you know, and now hopefully what that time frame would look like will be hard to say at this point. But there's definitely a world where this is commercialized and everybody has the power of quantum at their fingertips. The race between quantum computing and crypto security defines the future of digital finance. The near future will determine whether cryptocurrencies and maybe even more importantly, the internet as a whole, can adapt fast enough to survive the quantum age. The question isn't if quantum computers will break current crypto security, it's whether the industry can evolve fast enough to stay ahead while the quantum threat appears daunting. The blockchain industry isn't standing idle. A silent revolution is already underway, one that could determine the survival of digital finance as we know it. But what exactly happens behind the scenes of this technological arms race? It is a combination of doing a lot of research, investing in the research, you know, achieving community consensus, um, testing these out, publishing papers, you know, getting feedback, constructive criticism um, about proposed solutions to these upgrades. Crucial responsibility would be the education and making sure that uh, the concept is well known and understood by the wider community. Because as we said, once we're gonna get to the point where we would like to uh, swap from traditional cryptography into post-quantum cryptography, it would require coordinated action from uh, miners, developers of the blockchain, everyone who's using it, all the dApps uh, would need to get updated. But in this high stakes battle against quantum supremacy, an unexpected ally has emerged, artificial intelligence. Could the fusion of AI and blockchain create an impenetrable defense against quantum attacks? So the, the role AI will play in defending against quantum attacks will definitely be from a position of, you know, just research and aggregations. So if we think about, you know, what quantum computing is at its core, it's a lot of, you know, complex calculations being done at the same time. And while that information, those calculations are done, 
AI largely feeds on data. So if there is you know, sufficient data to train these models, there is the possibility that you know, AI can help in you know, defending, you know, assisting with research, and even building the solutions that will, again, be quantum technology resistant faster. So building them faster, deploying them, and even also self-correcting. As we stand at this technological crossroads, one question looms larger than all others. Will quantum computing spell the end of digital finance as we know it, or usher in an unprecedented era of innovation? I think that it will be like a synergy of cryptocurrency and then art artificial intelligence, and then if more and more aspects of our life would be moved from traditional uh, world to digital world, there would be increased demand for this type of payments that would be natively digital and that's why i think uh, it will be just contributing to blockchain then then um, reducing it, it, its importance or replacing it quantum computers today are still in their infancy working with noisy qubits that make mistakes but the rapid progress being made by companies like google ibm and microsoft means it could be closer than anyone thought